So hello and welcome to another Aggies Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Now, I'm going to be reviewing draft beer sent in a bottle. So the, the folks, the good folks at lowcostbeer.com are basically, they deal in short date, bankrupt stock, um, out of date beers and uh, this was brewed in, back in 2018. As clear as they come still. Um, £2.25 a pint, you buy it in basically, you buy it in 1500ml bottles, so it, roughly it's about six to seven quid, something along them lines. About six quid, six pound thirty, I don't know. Um, and yeah, they send it to you, buy as much as you want, obviously. There's six different drafts that they're doing at the moment. I've got two that I've got for review purposes, as you do. Nice and solid, the bottles. So you really don't have to drink it straight away. If it was not solid, and this is the good thing about using plastic bottles, with it being solid, you'd probably last up quite a bit longer. Because when you homebrew, you put it into the bottles and it goes nice and solid. I mean, you could actually add half, half a spoon of sugar just to make sure. So this is resin IPA, it's from Six Point Brewery. £2.25 pint, 9.1%. We are entering Raggy Avenue. As always, you're always a little bit... Uh... Oh, ho, ho, ho. I've got the octub in a minute. Been a long day. Looking forward to this. They do free from Six Point Brewery. They do a Bonoffi. And uh, so yeah, lowcostbeer.com. Look on their website if you this floats your boat. And I tell you now, I'm gonna do a big order this week. I've been wanting to get a big order in from somewhere for a while, and uh, a good seventy pound order I can see coming up. Once I get the gardens out of the way on Saturday, then I'll have the money. So, we're looking at a, an amber pour, golden amber pour, we should say. A white head, good lacing, so that's good, all good signs that it's fresh as what you'd get from the pub. Ooh, good strong aroma to it, I'll give it that. Smell that alcohol, Ooh, mouth watering. Definitely the hop is hops as well. And uh, first time drinking this. Let me just uh, get a few notes, see what the notes say. Uh, resin from Six Point Brewery. So it says here, resin slaps you with serious unfiltered dankness. Sure it stings, but it feels so good at the same time. It's hop candy up front, but drinks super clean for the size of the beer. Key ingredients, Chinook and Centennial hops, are a little old school with tons of resin and pine notes. Cheers, my dears. Very subtle at the moment, subtle pine and resin flavours. Definitely feeling the strength. That 9.1% really shows through. Oh, we're, we're definitely in Raggy Avenue now. As I like to call it. If you don't know what Raggy Avenue is, it's, it's a beer that's right down my street. The sort of beer that I love to taste. So yeah, what you're finding out now is a lot of breweries actually chucked beer away. Why? Why chuck beer away? I can't understand it. Don't chuck beer away. If it's going out of date, sell it to people like low cost beer and get it out there in the population. Because there's a lot of beers that you never ever come across, especially the seasonal beers, should we say. And to get it out there, get the general population drinking it. One, that population then will look for your beers and think, well, I'm having another one of them. And they may order direct from your brewery. Uh, Six Point, I think, is an American brewery. Um, I think, yeah, American craft beer. And 
another one here it says resin is a quite bitter IPA but in a lovely way it may not be for beginners IPA drinkers but if you like a nice piney bitter aftertaste in a juicy and then I lost it there <sighs> feeling the warmth from the belly uh, I do apologise for no light I've got to turn the chuffing light on I'm that eager to get in here and get reviewing the sun's out um, proper decent beer drinking weather getting back to pubs and it's a taste of pub in a bottle and for a lot of people out there there are still a lot of people that for whatever reason either can't go out basically scared to go out because you know the risks are still there especially if you are I and mean, none of us know if we have underlying issues I don't um, so so to get this delivered draft in a bottle and I mean I've been on the low, low cost beer site tonight and I've put things in the basket because I wanted to see how much I need to I need to earn <laughs> and uh, I've come to 67 quid that I need to pay out for this weekend so once I get Saturday afternoon out of the way uh, the order's going in and uh, a good order it's lots of new stuff and I'm just praying that the, some of the good stuff that I've seen doesn't bloody go before Saturday um, and they've had some amazing beers uh, cost me a fortune but like everyone I'm a beer fan it's what I love you know for me personally I'd love to get into the beer industry uh, even work even work, just working in a brewery cleaning out delivering the beer and finding out more getting more interest and then maybe even, because I love gardening, but I also love anything to do with beers, wines and spirits. Those five years in Sainsbury's changed me forever. You know, never really interested before, apart from supping it. Uh, but now, I, I, you know, I want, I'm like a kid who wants to learn, uh, or a student maybe. Um, that is where I'm at. Only bad thing at the moment, not many companies are taking on, everyone is just coming out of lockdown. The jobs aren't there at the moment. And uh, you know I've got some interesting weeks coming up at work, new bosses coming in and whatever else happening. And uh, then my life uh plan will go ahead. We'll see what happens. I'm praying that everything goes tickety boo. But you never know. One, one in this day and age, uh, you can't afford to be unhappy in your job because you know it all goes home, doesn't it? And not only that, it just doesn't make the job that good. And it's funny if I'd known a year ago what I know now, I would never have left my other job. And uh, hey, -oh, we all make mistakes, don't we? Sadly. So I daren't drink the other half the bottle just yet because I'll be pissed as a fart. Um, really nice. Nice to have a bit of America, American stuff. I think these are available in a lot of weather spoons uh, from somewhat what someone says. And I've actually got another 6.1 here. So called Sweet Action. I've got that in a beer hall from um, from low cost beer again. And it does seem to me that I've got my local uh, shop that I go to, Adventure Beer, and then I've got the national one that does all sorts of stuff, low cost beer. And when I look at the prices at certainly Waitrose and the Cardo, I look at their prices and think, oh my god, I'm not paying them prices off. No, off time you can't get a bloody ordering anyway but yeah lovely clear quality bit of beer oh, going down a tree and uh, I better not get too drunk before I get in the hot tub wife will give me a bollocking how should they do so looking forward to a warm weekend um, 
the weather is supposed to be really rocketing up. Oh, that's at 29 somewhere else. 23 tomorrow, 20 Saturday, 19 Sunday, 19, 18, 21, 21, 22. But it changes that much that, and half the time, BBC weather's their weather thing is rubbish. You better offer the Met Office. I only use it because it's on my front page and I haven't took it off yet. Because it's, it's crap for wind, because it, um, it never tells you, you know, with that dodgy gazebo I've got outside. It never really, um, I've got to think of the word now. No, it's gone. No. Yeah, above a certain thing, the wind. Um, wow, Jesus, I'm feeling it already. First drink of the day. I've, I've done an alcohol-free beer review today. Uh, you will have seen a Jack Daniels uh, review, but that was from yesterday. I don't don't always do my beer reviews um, on the same day. Um, the good thing about YouTube is I can schedule reviews in whenever I want. So people might think I'm at work and doing beer reviews, but no, I'm not, because the review is scheduled to pop up at like 10 in the morning or something. And, uh, you know, you fool people with that, but... Uh, yeah, it is ever so funny. The good thing about YouTube, modern these modern websites, is you can do pretty much anything on them in that respect. Bar doing live reviews, but uh, that's another bone of contention. Oh. So, hitting the spot. The strength really coming through. Nice bitterness in the back end. The pine, the resin. It's not too piney, not too resin. It's just nice. But the strength, 9.1%. Oh. We are definitely talking a uh, trip down Raggy Avenue. In fact, I might, I might be a trip down Raggy Avenue and then round Raggy's ass as well at this rate. I've got the warmest belly. And I've got another 500 mils left to drink. That will be a, an off-camera review, or an off-camera necking, and uh, lovely. And the really good thing is, I can recycle the bottles afterwards, because uh, I use them for beers and that, and uh, sometimes putting spirits in and whatnot. So, all good. And wine, even. Can't beat pouring wine from a pint, uh, one-litre bottle. Although I've got some two-litre bottles with wine in. Get a pint glass, two lit, pour it in, pint of wine, jobs are got in. Isn't that the way it should be? Let's be fair. You gotta do it right. None of these little farty glasses. You've got to keep getting off the settee. I'm not doing that. I'm getting old. Oh, that was lovely. So, like I says, drafting a bottle, the bottle's. You know, it was solid. And here's, an, here's another bottle. A uh, future review. Probably later tonight, actually. But yeah, absolutely solid the bottle is. Um, oh, which is what you want. So, for me, uh, I'll do a beer review, but I'll also do a draft review. So, first off, um, the Ambery Copper Pour... White head, good lacing, um, on the nose, hops. Um, I forgot, I forgot, that was, uh, it's that strong, I forgot what I'm saying. Uh, but you've, you've seen the review anyway. Lots of resin, lots of pine, but nice, subtle. The strength really shows up. Um, if you don't like strong beers, oof. but anyway. So, for me, a six point brewery out of five then. Strange one, it's a double review. For me, bloody brilliant beer, love the taste, good aroma, cracking strength. Out of five, then, for this fella, 4.5 out of five. Now, as the concept goes, draft uh, off a website, delivered in bottle form. 
Oh my God. Um, again, brilliant. It's come, like I've said, the bottle was solid, which means like a Coca-Cola bottle, it's got a good carbonation, it's not flat. If it was flat, if you or if you got it in, say, a cardboard jobby, whatever. I've done it, I've, I've gone to Sadler's Brewery and got it in cardboard form. Got home, yeah, it's okay, but you can't leave it a few days. This, I'll show you the other bottle, because it's solid, and already, you know, you could leave that a few days before you need to drink it. You don't have to drink it straight away. So you can order the amount you need in the good knowledge that it's not going to go off anytime soon and not going to go flat and nasty anytime soon. Already solid. Look at feel that. Well, you can't, but yeah, that sounds wrong, doesn't it? Feel that. But anyway, yeah, absolutely solid. So you know that ordering it and not drinking it the same day is a good thing. Um, love the concept can't wait to see more as a beer fan I want to see beers I want to see breweries exploiting what low cost beer are doing and saying to them look we've got some seasonal beers in casks send them to you you get them out to the public one it's it's helping two people it's helping the brewery the original brewery and it's helping low cost beer and thirdly and most importantly it's good for us, the fans, the beer uh, drinkers, because we get to taste. And it's the seasonal beers, the beers you can't get normally, unless you go actually go to a pub. They're the beers we want to see. You know, there's lots of seasonal beers from breweries, even in Nottingham where I live. Lots of beers that I've never tasted, unless I go to a pub. I, personally, don't really fancy going to pubs at the moment. And, uh, you know, if I could get, set the likes of Castle Rock Brewery and Lincoln Green to somehow sell their their seasonal stuff in their beer shops and that, so I can go down, get a pint of each, bring it home, or even a litre if need be, you know, whatever. Bring it home, do the review. I've got the review. I'm trying new beers, and I'm happy. <sighs> and now I've rattled on too long. And again, the concept, out of five for this concept, 4.6 out of five. Obviously, it's not a beer, I'm not actually, actually reviewing the beer, but the concept is absolutely the way forward for me. Love it. And that's it for this beer review. Uh, interesting beer review, went down well, feel half pissed. And uh, there we go. I'm going to enjoy that other half later, although I might leave it until tomorrow actually, because the bottle will go quiet. It's already starting to get go solid again, which is a good thing. So you don't have to neck it all in one. Which when it's 9.1% takes some doing, I'm telling you. I already feel half tanked and that's on one pint. <clears throat> and that's it. Thanks for watching. Thank you everyone for subscribing. And as always, stay safe. See you soon. And uh, remember, tomorrow's a new day. You never know what happens. One day I might win the lottery. Hey, one day. And I can retire. Drink beer, do many reviews, if the wife will let me. Cheers.